This week, we're talking about high-necked party dresses. So it's December and we are officially into Christmas party season, but one thing is going to be missing from the fashionable party season this year and that is cleavage. Cleavage is completely over this season I'm afraid and that does put a lot of us in a party dressing quandary because it's a kind of British instinct as soon as you get a party invitation you just wear something that's a bit more low cut than normal. I don't really know why it is. I don't think it's because we're complete floozies, but I think there is an urge to go out and look like you're dressed up, not in the way that a six-year-old gets dressed up to be taken to the Nutcracker at Christmas, but in a more grown-up way. But this season, we're going to have to do it without the cleavage because, as we've been discussing for about six months now, it's all about high necklines, it's all about being buttoned up to the collar, and that doesn't change for the evening even though it's Christmas, sorry. The trouble with a lot of high neck party dresses is that when designers cut the neck high, they then cut the skirt really short. And not that many of us are as confident with our legs as designers would like us to be. So I have kind of avoided what you'll see lots of if you go looking for this, is you'll see lots of lovely demure necklines and then they're cut just below your bum, which is, you know, if you can wear that, then brilliant. You need no fashion guidance from me if you look good in those dresses, thank you very much. I do think there is an issue about showing some flesh, not because we're being floozies, but because there is a kind of humanity about showing some area of skin, which just looks warmer and less formal than, uh, than being completely buttoned up and covered up from neck to toe. Hence, you know, like a bit of arm, if you can face it, it's not that scary. Um, now this dress here is from DKNY. Um, but we've got a bit of a high street special for you today because all the other ones are from the high street. So on our little high street Christmas shopping tour today, starting at Warehouse. Now this one here has this very demure collar, but by having a real accent on the collar, a kind of necklace, this jet, I think, is nice because although the, the Peter Pan neckline can look sometimes a bit babyish, I think having the jet, which is the most kind of grown up of jewels, uh, makes it look rather more ladylike instead. And purple and black is rather grown up colour combination. This is sort of uh, Christopher Kane on the high street this season is basically what this dress is. Now this is another warehouse dress. And again, fans of Christopher Kane, I think would be well advised to check out warehouse this season because this dress, um, I would say, has some inspiration taken from the Versus collections that uh, Christopher designs for Versace. Definitely has that shape in this um, bodice panelling here. Um, very, very beautiful dress and with a little bit of flesh here, but this part isn't sheer. So bra-wise, you're okay. So next stop, Oasis. You can see that uh, high neck doesn't have to mean demure. This is rather racy um, with a kind of spangly leotardy top and a tulle skirt made for dancing uh, with, a, with a mullet hem and does have a layer under here so it's not as sheer as, as the, uh, the top layer it gives the impression and with a cutout at the back here. That's a real dance floor dress. Moving on to French Connection. This one here, um, I love this colour, real electric blue, very Stella McCartney colour for this season and with this sort of raised neckline here which really frames your face and a lovely thick fabric so you can kind of go with the bodycon shape without feeling like every little lump and uh, mince pie bump is going to show through. Staying with French Connection, this one here I think is a bit of a high street winner. This is my favourite one that I've seen so far. It has a high neckline around here but quite cut away at the sleeves which is quite a flattering shape and just shows that little bit more flesh to make the whole thing look a bit more evening wise. The other thing that lifts it to make it more of an evening dress than a day dress is the contrast fabric. It's a kind of simple matte crepe here but has this satin 
down the side and at the hem and on the trim of the pocket, which is a sort of tuxedo style of detailing, which makes the dress look a little bit more black tie. And then lastly, wouldn't be Christmas without a bright red dress. This one from Whistles, which is kind of Valentino red with a bow and some ruffles. So you could almost get away with the Valentino number. And uh, again, sheer at the top, not sheer here. Beautiful little peep hole there at the back and pretty much a perfect party dress. Thank you.